So today we're going to talk about how do you help a family member or friend when they're first adopting a child. So from when the child first arrives into the house, how can you help them? What can you do? What shouldn't you do? And how can you just help them to get through that time? So I'm an adopter of two boys who are 11 and 12 and I've got my own birth children but I was a foster carer as well and so I've seen those processes happen and obviously I've gone through a lot of things with my boys. So how can you help them? The, the first thing to recognise about the whole thing is it's utterly exhausting. So if you can give your adopter friend lots of practical help in the house and be there for them in the background, that's probably going to be the most helpful thing that you can do. When I say practical things, I mean cooking the odd meal, you know, helping them clean the house, uh, dog sitting, getting shopping for them, all of those things are just gonna be priceless to them because they are going to be just mentally and emotionally and physically drained, particularly, I would say, in the first three months. It's really, really tough. And there is the possibility of an adoption breakdown when exhaustion kicks in and the doctors can't cope. So that's the, the first thing I'd say. The second thing I think that you can do for them is listen very carefully to what they're saying to you about the children's behaviours that they're struggling with. Now, if they have a baby, of course, that's not going to be as relevant. But if they have a child, say, 12 months plus, and they are noticing some challenging behaviours that they weren't expecting or they were expecting, they may find that really difficult to share with a social worker and anybody else. So if you're a close friend or family member that they trust, they may feel that they can do that with you, but nobody else. And they may be prepared to tell you that they're wondering if they've done the right thing. Yeah, they're not sure if they're, they're strong enough for this, they're not sure if they're a good enough parent. All those misgivings and doubts are gonna come out. So as time goes on and you see their bond and attachment growing with the child, then that's time to start offering to do short periods of time with the child. Now, the issue with adopters which I think is different from parents at large, is they are much more fearful of leaving their children with people. Whether that's because they've gone through the process and had lots of social worker visits, it's, it's kind of like unsettling around that time. Whether it's because the children might be more challenging, possibly. But sometimes adopters can be all in uh, never have any help, never have any support for respite for the children. One of the things that can break that is if you get in quite early and offer to do an hour here and an hour there. You can't do that before the child has got begun to have an attachment with the adopters because that would be the wrong thing to do. But once that has happened, start offering to take a trip down the shops with the baby or the child or to, to sit for an hour while the, the parents go out just for a quick trip and then build that up. And so over time, the adopters will have you as somebody they can call on when they really need that respite but I would actually kind of force their hand a little bit and try to do a little bit of that quite early on. Another thing that you can do for them, number four, you can read up things that they may be going through. So if the adopter is saying to you that certain things are happening, like say for example, the child is acting out in a certain way, they're struggling over getting them to eat properly, to sleep properly, all those things, then you can take the time to read up why those things might be. So that when the adopter is describing it to you, you understand what they're saying. And you're not just saying things to make them feel happy, you're saying things that could be be practical and helpful to them because you've also read up about those things that they may be going through. As I say, they may not go through those things, but if they do and you've read up about sleep and sleep deprivation or why adopted children might be fussy over eating and that type of thing, then you could be much more supportive. Now, the things not to say to adopters, things like they will grow out of it, don't worry oh yes, of course you're a good parent. You've always been, you've always been made for this. You know, of course, of course you're a good parent. Another thing that you might say to them which would irritate would be, you need to let go or you need to send them to nursery. 
if they're not ready to let go they're not ready to let go you might say things like you look like you formed a good bond already and an adopter, adopter might be saying to you they don't feel they have if the adopter's absolutely distraught and on their knees and not coping at all you wouldn't say to them this will definitely get better because i think if your friend or family member is super struggling then you would need to encourage them to go and get help because many adopted children need therapy and social workers are there in the early days to be there to support and hear what needs to be happening and needs what help there needs to be so that's another way in which you can help them i hope that helps you guys every situation will be really different and your relationship with your potential adopter friend or family member will be different but i hope that gives you a few tips about what you can do practically to help your friend or family member when that child arrives thank you